This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games. Check out their games on luckyduckgames.com. Thank you for joining me today at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Today we're going to be talking about board games launching the second half of April 2020 on Kickstarter. I am also going to be talking about Ankh, Gods of Egypt from Come On. Didn't really know when that was launching, but they just announced their date April 14th. And Come On generously donated one Ankh, Gods of Egypt board game that I can give away on this video. So check back at the end of the video and I will tell you how you can enter for a chance to win that copy of Ankh. Let's get started on today's video. is launching Ankh, Gods of Egypt. It's a two to five player game that plays in about 60 to 90 minutes. You're playing as an Egyptian god and that figures on the main board which you can move around and on your turn you can take up to two actions out of a possible of four. Rounds will continue until there's a battle and then back to taking more turns and more battles until the end of the game is triggered. The four actions include moving, summoning a figure, gaining followers, and unlocking an Ankh power. On April 16th, Time Warp Labs launches Metropia, a game for two to five players. It takes about 45 to 90 minutes to play. It's a multiplayer territory capture game in which you place warriors and modify their behaviors with special powers, all overlaid on game mechanisms based on the game Go. Actions in each round are based on movement cards that can be combined with special action cards and movements capture territory and prisoners. On April 20th, we'll see Stitchcraft. It's a two-player card game where players take on the role of merchants whose tapestries are infused with magic dueling during trade shows in the street markets. By outwitting your opponent and putting on the best show, you will secure the sales from the crowds who flock to the city for the entertainment. Also on April 20th, Van Ryder Games launches Final Girl. It's a solitaire-only game that puts the players in the shoes of the female protagonist who must kill the slasher if she wants to survive. On April 21st, World Shapers launches Curators, a 1-4 player game that takes about 45-75 to 75 minutes to play. It's a Euro-style tiling game with action selection mechanic where you're actually flipping the tokens. Also on April 21st, Elf Creek Games launches Merchants of the Dark Road, a game for 1-4 to four players that takes about 1-2 to two hours to play. You're going to be collecting and producing items to add to your caravan or selling these items to local heroes and hire them to travel with you. You'll be able to manipulate the market price of items, visit the back alley sellers, or delve a nearby dungeon for magical items to gain the potential for even more coin and notoriety. On April 23rd, BYR Games launches the Belgian Beers Race for 2-4 to four players. It takes about 60-150 to 150 minutes to play. Your goal is to visit as many breweries as possible. These next few launch on April 28th. Two Anniverse Games launches Tiny Ninjas Heroes, a game for one to two players. It takes about 30 minutes to play. It's the second game in the Tiny Ninjas universe. and introduces more strategy with a four by seven grid battlefield. Players command a clan of five ninjas, including a selected hero. Dice are used to track the positioning and health of each ninja. Players acquire items, shields, and energy to perform special abilities. Eliminate your opponent's hero before they eliminate yours. Wolf Designer launches Guards of Atlantis 2, a tabletop MOBA game. It's a competitive zero-luck, quote-unquote, team-based board game inspired by the computer games of the MOBA genre. Uproarious Games launches Intrepid, a game for 1-4 to four players. It takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play. It's a strategic and highly asymmetric cooperative game with a variety of nations and disaster scenarios. Every game of Intrepid will be completely unique. Light End Games Incorporated launches Dementals Unseen Warfare, a game for two players. It takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. We'll see Mini Express, a game for three to five players. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play. This is a sequel to Mini Rails, which players only carry out 
one of the two actions expanding a railroad of a company or taking a stock tile from a company. Black Box Adventures is planning to launch Adventures in Neverland, a story-driven adventure game for two to four players where you take on the role of the main character in the world from J.M. Barry's Peter Pan. The game system provides competitive as well as co-op play. Steam Forge Games is planning to launch Resident Evil 3, the board game. On April 30th, we'll see Omball Tournament Foundation, a deck building game for two to four players, takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play. And don't forget that Excavation Earth from Mighty Boards is already on Kickstarter, a game for one to four players where you're moving explorers around the map, excavating artifacts, deploying traders to bazaars in order for those artifacts to be sold there. A quick shout out to one of our series sponsors, GameFound. They are a free to use pledge manager. So after the Kickstarter campaign ends, you can find out more information at GameFound.com. So some videos that Tantrum House will be producing from the list of games that I talked about on this video. We'll be doing some previews for Ankh, Gods of Egypt, Metropia, Stitchcraft, Merchants of the Dark Road, Tiny Ninjas Heroes, and the expansion to Rise of Tribes, so you can look for those coming in the days and weeks ahead. And I did want to mention that Tantrum House is still planning on launching a Kickstarter campaign. We're just not exactly sure when with the current situation that we're all dealing with. So I'm thinking probably beginning of May, but uh, just not exactly sure when that will happen. I will definitely let you know and would love your support. Until then, you can check out all our stuff at tantrumhouse.com slash shop. We have lots of goodies there that you can check out. So how can you enter for a chance to win the Ankh Gods of Egypt board game from Come On? Well, in the comments below, uh, tell me what is your favorite theme from the trilogy of games uh, from uh, Come On? The Viking theme, the Feudal Japan theme, or this Egyptian theme? I would love to hear which one of those themes is your favorite. Or you can comment about any of the games that were listed uh, from the video, which one's your favorite, and I will randomly choose a winner in a few weeks, and I'll let you know about that in my next video. Thanks for joining me on this video, and as always, we'd love for you to subscribe to Tantrum House and hit the like button on this video.